The video you're about to see shows how Chesterfield Royal Hospital treats sepsis, also referred to as septicemia or blood poisoning. Sepsis is a life-threatening condition that arises when the body's response to an infection injures its own tissues and organs. As time is a major factor in the effective treatment of sepsis, a red flag diagnosis is now treated as a medical emergency. The following would be a typical example of how we might spot and deal with such a diagnosis. This lady has come to our emergency department with an injury to her arm. Sarah Smith, please. Uh, have you got any pain sort of here? It's tender. It's tender there. I think we're going to need to... Oh, crikey, that's a bad... At the moment, it appears to be a typical and routine assessment. However, she begins to display signs of other health issues, in this case a cough. A cough could be one of the first signs of sepsis, but in isolation, and if there is another possible cause, it is something that should be noted and monitored. The patient will now go through whatever routine her reason for presenting to the ED requires. In this case, an x-ray will be taken, and in the event of a break, she will require a visit to our fracture clinic. In the case of our patient here, her injury requires an operation, and she has been admitted as a result. Would you like to just take a seat on the bed? Once again, her condition appears to be normal, but her cough is beginning to worsen. Here we can see the nurse taking and recording our patient's vital signs, including oxygen levels, blood pressure and temperature. These will be checked continuously to monitor her health so that any deteriorations can be picked up quickly. I'll just give you this. That's it for the minute. Um, I'll be back in a bit to do some more observations. All right. Thank you. After four hours, our patient's vital signs will be checked again to monitor the cough and to make sure the health of the patient hasn't deteriorated. Quite a bit of pain in, there. in your wrist and yeah. Is it okay if I just do your observations, take your blood pressure and your temperature and everything? Yeah. I'm not sent to a clear up, but um, I, do, I do smoke. Right, okay. And is it getting worse at all? It just doesn't seem to have cleared up. Right, Sarah, I've just taken all your and everything and that, so I'm just going to go now and that and do some of the bits and bobs, but I'll be back shortly to check on you, OK? Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> In a short space of time, our patient's health has begun to visibly deteriorate. Her cough has worsened and breathing has become heavy. The latest vital signs have been recorded, which, amongst other things, show a drop in blood pressure and her oxygen levels are down. Right Sarah, just looking at your observations and that, I'm just a little concerned about your health and everything and that, I'm a bit worried. So I'm just going to get a doctor to come and check you out, if that's okay with you. Yeah. An oxygen mask is attached to aid her breathing. Our staff nurse is more concerned as it becomes clear that we have a red flag sepsis diagnosis, so she orders a 2222 sepsis call for the sepsis team to attend. Hello, could I put a sepsis call out for Hampton Ward, please? Thank you. For every hour that the patient goes without treatment, the risk of fatality goes up by 7%. By treating sepsis as a medical emergency, it is projected that we will save 100 lives a year at this trust. Hi, is it Sarah? Yeah. Hi. Mind if I just have a quick listen to your chest? Yeah. I'm a little concerned. Her rest rates have gone up to 28. Her oxygen levels have dropped. Her temperature's increased. Her blood pressure's dropping and her heart rate's increased. And that's so I'm a bit concerned that she might have sepsis. Yeah, of course. It sounds like you might have a bit of an infection. So we're going to start some antibiotics and do some more tests, if that's OK. Right. Yeah. The sepsis team implements the sepsis 6 which consists of three diagnostic tests and three therapeutic steps to be delivered as rapidly as possible. The most important of which is the prompt administration of antibiotics. The sepsis 6 requires the administration of high flow oxygen, the taking of blood cultures whilst giving broad spectrum antibiotics and intravenous fluid challenges. It also requires the measurement of serum lactate and the accurate measurement of hourly urine output. 
The work being done to improve sepsis diagnosis and the quick prescribing and delivery of antibiotics would not be possible without the dedicated work of our clinical teams and the combined efforts of our blood science, microbiology and pharmacy teams. With the early administration of antibiotics, the patient has a far better chance of a rapid recovery. Together, we're making the treatment of sepsis faster and more effective.